It's a heat measurement system. Once we know that the temperature shifts in degrees, even by 0.6 degrees or 0.8 degrees, there would be a small disorder in the body. So if we start measuring, let's say, the radius of the ear, I'm going to give an right. example, and we'll measure from this point and we'll measure to this point. If there's a difference in heat, yeah over 0.6 degrees Celsius, that means there's beginning stages of some sort of disorder. Some type of information. Yeah. Right. Well, it's just an information, yes. Yeah. Some right. sort of disorder. Yeah. What it means about a disorder, it could heal in one or three days, right. but if we continue maintaining and looking at it and the heat is always there, then we know that the problem is going to become much, much more complicated in two, three, five years from now. When they have the thermographical offices, they do a much bigger scale. Mm -hmm. What we try to do is to dense it down and take smaller measurements mm -hmm. of a much smaller radius to be more accurate. We can actually go to the exact point what we want to measure. Uh -huh. So let's say it would be a year. But many people always say, does the cell phone affect the... Yeah. So we measure that, you know, we measure the year in several different points. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll let somebody use the phone for about five minutes and then we measure it over again. Mm -hmm. And we saw how the temperature shifted more than mm -hmm. 0.8 mm -hmm. degrees. Mm -hmm. It shifted almost 1.3 degrees. And all it does, it measures your temperature. Mm -hmm. Measures the temperatures between 6 to 12 millimeters under the skin. Mm -hmm. So you can test yourself as many times without any side effects. Which mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. So people are always afraid to go and do x-rays, mammograms, uh, uh, you know, MRIs, because there are slight side effects and you cannot do it on a daily or a monthly basis. <clears throat> Let's say somebody went to the chiropractor or an acupuncturist and they don't see how they were before. It's a very simple and very affordable way for an acupuncturist just to measure him, measure the points mm -hmm. before he does the test. And after the work, after acupuncture, after chiropractor work that he did on a, on a person, he could remeasure it again and immediately see if there was any differences, mm -hmm. if there's any shift and if there's any correction happened. When a client sees before and after, right. it's a very big, um, psychologically, it also helps them to start saying, not just believing in yeah, the Because you can see improvement or whatever absolutely. is happening. Because sometimes we don't feel the improvement immediately in our body, but the improvement happens immediately mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. us seeing it. And once you measure, let's say, several parts, whatever a patient wants to be measured, let's say a thyroid, you'll mm -hmm. just go, I'll show you with this, you'll measure several spots on a thyroid, you put mm -hmm. those numbers into the computer program, and a computer program will give you a readout, thermographical readout, what's mm -hmm. going on in that particular area. And uh, uh, here we measured with a person uh, ear, and yeah. those are the three points, and as you can see, uh, his hearing is absolutely okay. There so are when, when we see that green and bluish, it uh, means it's, it's okay. pretty stable, right. Yeah. And then we let him use the cell phone for about five minutes, uh -huh. and after using the cell phone for about five minutes, uh, if we can get the next picture, we saw that you see on top of the ear became yeah. much, much redder and below became a little bit more right. yellowish, yeah. but it started to affect his brain. Yeah. Then we tried to do it a little bit longer, like a 10 minute phone conversation, mm -hmm. and it already shows that it gives a very serious disturbance. Now what happens? Yeah. It doesn't mean that a person's going to lose his hearing. No. no. All it means that it's affecting his brain. Well, so we know that if he's going to continue. Right, in the cells. In the yeah, cells. Yeah. So we know that if he's going to use right. it for the next, let's say, um, 10, 15 years, mm -hmm. there will be a disorder. Right. Somewhere, okay. not necessarily in the brain. The following picture, which is also very interesting, is the immune system. Mm -hmm. And those are the points for measuring the immune system. Mm -hmm. As we know that <clears throat> if our immune system isn't functioning, then we catch a cold right away. So most people who want to make sure that the immune system is functioning properly, those are the points that they would measure. This is also uh, over the thymus, right? Area. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's all over the, that's where the immune system is. In the yeah, right. yeah. So if you go to the next, we measure those five points, which takes a couple of minutes, and we know that there is a slight disturbance by the throat. Yeah. We ask the client, and he did say that, yes, I'm slightly coughing. We prescribe mm -hmm. a protocol for him, and right away, he caught it way, way before, because, because before it, it becomes anything serious. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those, this is mainly how the thermography works. It's very simple procedure, no side mm -hmm. effects. It's, it could become from the simplest to the most complicated work. So uh, yeah. a regular person can use it, and a medical doctor who mm -hmm. needs a quick check on something instead of sending for the x-ray or doing or any this. Practitioner any practitioner. Any practitioner. Quick check. Right away, it's a very affordable, very yeah, simple.